The Razorback all-terrain mower is very low to the ground with a relatively short footprint. It has been designed specifically for slope work with the ability to mow down green undergrowth as thick as 38mm in diameter, including weeds like lantana, camphor laurel and tobacco regrowth. Most of the Razorback's components are based on the compact tractor or earth moving equipment principles rather than a ride on lawnmower as we know it here in Australia. The Razorback has a mechanically based dual range four wheel drive system that is coupled to an infinitely variable hydrostatic transmission. The mower can also be driven in two wheel drive. The mechanical drivetrain resembles a land cruiser or patrol, with drive shafts from the gearbox to the centre of the mower with the universal joints through to the front axle. Flicking your lever on the dashboard engages a case hardened steel mechanical diff lock, which works equally as well climbing or descending steep slopes in demanding situations. At the heart of the four wheel drive train is the hydro gear hydrostatic transmission that has a charge pump. The hydrostatic system includes a serviceable oil filter. The reservoir has over 7 litres of hydraulic oil in constant circulation for the ultimate cooling package in our hot Australian conditions. This is a commercial grade transmission built for heavy cutting applications in extreme conditions. Razorbacks are fitted with high and low range gearbox providing excellent torque for climbing and allowing the mower forward speeds up to 14 kilometres an hour. The Razorbacks offer driving versatility. You have the option to drive the machine by either foot control with a heel and toe action or in many steeper hillside situations you may prefer using the hand control. Either way the transmission moves from forward to reverse motion with ease. The Razorback is also fitted with cruise control for long run applications. The instant that the brake is applied, the transmission shifts back to neutral, which stops the machine very quickly. The CMX four-wheel drive Razorbacks have serious stopping capability. The rear axle has a double shoe drum brake, as does the front axle. When these two brakes are applied, the hydraulic brake also comes into force providing a solid stopping solution regardless of the angle or slope that you're working on. The Razorback is also fitted with an easily activated parking brake. The CMX227 Razorback has a unique shaft driven mower deck and cutting system that is designed to handle the extreme material and environment that this all-terrain mower works in on a daily basis. The deck shell is manufactured from high-grade Swedish steel. The top plate is reinforced with several layers of material in all areas that suffer stress. The sides of the deck have swinging deflectors that are primarily designed to deflect the cut debris away from the mower for side or rear discharge. The side covers can also be positioned horizontally to allow the trash to be laid out beneath the rolling chassis. The side covers can also be opened wide enough to have access to the cutting area, making blade inspection and servicing extremely easy. The blades are retained under the deck by a unique patented system that is toolless and very easy to do in the workshop or out in the paddock. Each blade is made of a special high carbon Hirosaki steel that has incredible strength and ability in rocky and rough terrain. The height adjustment lever has gas assisted struts which makes lifting the deck a breeze. It can be raised and lowered in small increments. The shaft drive to the mower deck is an extremely robust piece of engineering. 
The deck is activated by a large lever that is directly in front of the operator's seat just below the steering column. When the lever is actuated, the twin cylinder Subaru engine powers the shaft. Very direct and efficient, very low impact on the drivetrain, simple and easily serviced and maintained. All the engineering in the shaft system is extremely heavy duty. Large diameter shafts with solid splines, helical gears, large bearings with multiple seals are used throughout. The front of the mower deck is a large rubber flap that is capable of processing high volumes of material from grasses to 38 mm saplings. As the material flows beneath the front axle, it is angled into the blades with a bean cutter style cutting action. The mower cannot start unless the brake pedal is depressed and someone is seated on the mower. The blade system has a double shoe brake behind the main drive pulley that is designed to stop the blades within 4 seconds. All terrain mowers require a compact footprint for stability to avoid deck scalping and also to maintain a very low centre of gravity. The addition of forward footplates allows taller operators more legroom without sacrificing the compact design of the mower. The suspension seat can track forward or back as well as change the angle of the backrest. The height of the seat can also be adjusted through a series of slots in the front and rear seat posts. The steering wheel height and reach or length and the steering tilt angle are all individually adjustable. This is a very capable four-wheel drive all-terrain mower that has European certifications for grades up to 25 degrees with stability angles of 30 degrees left or right. The Razorback has a rack and pinion steering box, is able to withstand side impacts and has a steering angle of 75 degrees in each direction. The main air intake for the cooling of the Subaru engine is behind the seat. The air cleaner cover is under the rear body section. There is a foam pre-cleaner that can be oiled when working in excessively dusty areas. All Razorbacks are designed for easy daily servicing. Most moving parts have grease nipples and all filters are easy to access. The fuel tank holds 20 litres of unleaded petrol, which would provide over seven and a half hours of operation under normal working conditions.
The Razorback all-terrain mowers offer a whole new standard of engineering excellence. They have proven to be extremely reliable in our harsh Australian environment.